Busy morning for retail earnings. Target and Lowe's each missing on quarterly profit, revenue, and comps. They did cite bad weather, uh, though Lowe's sees upward sales momentum so far this month. Meantime, Tiffany is surging on a blowout quarter, upbeat guidance, and plans for a billion dollar share buyback. And something a little unusual this morning, a day after Lowe's named JCPenney's Marvin Ellison as its next CEO, Ellison has now posted a video message on JCPenney's website. Take a listen to this. The one thing I did not do as chairman and CEO was grow the stock price and generate wealth for you and the associates and the shareholders. And team, this is the number one responsibility of a CEO and something that I did not deliver on. And as I prayed about my future and where God wants me to be at this point in my life, I think it's appropriate for me to step aside, get back into home improvement retail, and allow the board to bring in a new CEO with some fresh ideas. He goes on to say, if I were you, I would be disappointed. Yeah, I mean, it's very self-effacing. I, mean, uh, I remember when he took over the job, speaking to him about what a great job he did at Home Depot. And he merchandises merchandise. And we both kind of talked about it as being merchandise is merchandise, that if you're good at one, selling one thing, you'd be good at another. And I think that the challenge at JCPenney was much larger than people realized because of the disruption uh, that hadn't really been recovered from from Ron Johnson, but then, you know, Mike Goldman. But I think what this really said is, look, I'm not a, I'm, I'm not an apparel guy. And I, I, I let you down. I'm not an apparel guy. And in retrospect, those are very two, two very different sets of skills that you need. Yeah. And I, that's what he basically admitted. I, I actually thought about the board of JCPenney. And what, yes, the board offered him the job. And it was a great job because he wasn't getting a top job. And I, I know that the instinct is to take that job. But in retrospect, I'm sure he wishes that he had just even not being able to get the top job at he, he's known, Home Depot. He's known from his time at, uh, at Depot as more of a hardline guy of appliances and things that well, ostensibly he'll have an easier yeah, time selling at Lowe's. True, but I mean, what's interesting was that JCPenney did have this vision of going more into hardlines. But you know, JCPenney was Sephora was uh, very inexpensive clothes, uh, but had moved, was going into furniture, was going to Harlem's where they were having some success. So, you know, right, you know, look, hindsight is really 2020, but the board did make an offer to a guy who, uh, where they thought that maybe the future with J.C. Penney would be more hardline. He thought that too. And it's just unfortunate. I don't know what other word to use, just unfortunate. But, and meanwhile, given his uh, success at Home Depot, his knowledge base, uh, of course, of how things work there, Lowe's is up sharply today. On a not great number. You know, yesterday it was up, and then the president tweeted, and then people say, well, a lot of the stuff from Lowe's is from China, so therefore it goes back down. But this is a remarkable affirmation of what he said. Listen, I'm a hardline guy. And now people are saying, okay, the bad stuff about the weather is over. Now we've got Ellison coming in. Ellison did a good job. Uh, Lowe's is ripe for a, a basic reorg, and he's going to challenge Home Depot. Maybe he takes some Home Depot people, as we talked about. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.